don't know what that is. Show dot. Seems so really fucking loud. Chewbacca 53. There seems fine. Let's try it. Alright. Let's see how well this goes. to play this spoopy game. Probably scared the shit out of myself in the meantime, but that's okay. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototan Mountain. Lovely. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan, However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace, and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. Oh. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered, deep under the snow. I don't want to go there, that seems dangerous. I'm gonna get fucked. Act one. Alright. Alright, so let's see, it's not bad, I think. Oh god. Woo. Alright, this game's quite nice looking. Oh god, that's bright. Alright, it seems like I want to go this way. Seems quite fucking cold. Oh, I got footy steps even. Great game design. Music. It's nice. I don't. Well, I can, can I just, just walk right over. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I haven't got any objectives. Um. <coughs> I 
<coughs> Shit. Okay, so there's a limit. Can't move anything, alright. Okay, since two needs to be. Sensitive still. Right, I'll probably need quick sensitivity for. Okay, I'm going down this path. About this house up here. No. It's looking quite dangerous. Uh, so I probably just said, uh, like, what am I supposed to be doing? Like, Fuck. Oh, that doesn't look sketchy as fuck at all. Um, I could go by the train tracks. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm probably supposed to be following these. Alright. coming to me. Oh. Who am I? Are you who? Who's. What? Wild little footy prince got it. What? Footy Prince, why? I'm gonna get like raped in these woods, aren't I? These are totally rape woods. I could definitely get some. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some rape in here. I'm gonna get fucked. This is like fucking. Oh god. I don't like this. Uh, in the end, the only thing I saw was a flash, an insufferable burning light, the pain ripping apart my body. Okay. I felt it tearing out of my soul. Oh. After a while, I was nobody, nothing. Yep. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I can barely I fucking see. The light. Oh, light. Aha! Sa safety. I am right behind you. Uh, what? What do you mean? Uh, yo, that that doesn't look uh like it's working. screen okay so I'm like uh, trying to find out what the fuck happened here is this like is that my goal it's probably my goal I would imagine so at least I'm out of the fucking rape woods act two let's go have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity oh when others convince you of being no more than subject Ah, sounds like my friends. And they told you that you were a monster, deserved punishment, 
I want to go to Africa. Oh, I have no sense of it. Christian boy. It seems very nice in there though, I kinda wanna stay in there. Mm, fuck it, let's follow the footsteps. Press F for survival info. That's Does it mean E? G I No Q F, alright. I said info. I don't know how the flashlight's a fucking The footy steps have been lost. Where the fuck am I going? I don't want to waste my flashlight. Ooh. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to jump in it. The fuck's in the... I'm going to touch it. Press it. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission, and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall, and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. Sorry. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. Jesus. But the trail went cold after 500 meters, and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. I set out the moment I heard about the oh, fuck off. Survival. Alright, here we go. Running, left shift, understood. In deep snow was tired. Just the pace of strength. Doki. What? Pretty. Oh God. Can I leave? Oh. What? What? Oh, yeet. I'm chasing after this motherfucker. I think I saw another glowy bitch, but I'm not sure. I'm going after this one. Oh. Uh, map. Okay, uh, I'm guessing C. I'm guessing C is camp. Correct? 
And Arnold's uh, fucking 10. O-I. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. equals right. Appreciate these noises. doing fuck me what okay I guess I cannot go this way all right I'll take that as a no Go this way. Ooh. I can't tell if it's laggy or is it just frame rate. Right? I don't know what the fuck's happening. That's just the game. Fuck off, Twain. What does this do for me? Oh. I found me a note. We are sitting in room number 23. Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. 
Everyone Have is fun. so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will I'm we make a gorilla. I hear the rest I don't of the group breathing peacefully. This gorillas definitely live in this outside. terrain. Gorillas live in this terrain, I'm almost positive. Oh, alright. Uh, this is safe. Let's go this way, open terrain. Oh, this is gonna... Alright, 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 yeah. I guess this is a save point. I don't have to... Oh. Alright. Oh, well, I'm gonna fuck off now, so bye.